Coach Jay here with an intro for the DVD. Developing Runners DVD is a project that I worked on for several years, and it highlights lots of stuff. Core training, hills, how to warm up, how to cool down, form running, how to do a workout, all that stuff is in the DVD. You can either purchase it online or you can get a free one by simply purchasing one of the training programs through CoachJRunning.com. What we're gonna go over now is a complete workout day. We're gonna cover warm up, drills, strides, workout, cool down. All right, so we're gonna start out with a warm up and just make sure you're in the right level of warm up for you. Uh, level one, two, or three, based on your level of running and experience. So we've done our warm up, we've finished it, and now we're gonna move on to drills. First thing we're gonna do is a high knee pull. You're gonna grab your knee, pull up, and uh, do a little bit of a calf raise. Try to keep your abdominals tight when you're doing this. All right, next drill is a quad pull, and again, a calf raise. And you're putting your hand up in the air just to open up your chest and open up your abdominals and get a little bit of a dynamic stretch in there. What you're doing here is you're grabbing your ankle and you're turning your leg to the inside and again a calf raise and a pull up. We're just trying to get every angle of the hip and really loosen it up before we do strides and before we move on to the workout. So now we're doing the opposite of going to the inside. We're twisting and going to the outside of your foot and you're just touching your ankle. Continuing to loosen up the hips, you're gonna drive your knee up and twist to the outside. And ideally you wanna to continue to look forward while you're doing this, uh, just because when you run, you're looking forward as well. You can see we're getting a little bit more aggressive progressively, and they're doing a uh, high leg kick, and you're trying to either touch your toe or even go past where your arm can touch your toe. So you're gonna walk three steps, touch your toe, and try to keep a straight back. It's really hard to do, but we're trying to stretch out that hamstring a little bit more before we get into the strides. And here we go, getting a little bit more aggressive with the A skip. And you want your toe up and your heel up. And you can see a little bit of variation between the two A skips. Both are great. You can see Shay, the closest to us, is a little bit shorter of an A skip, a little quicker. And Carmen's doing a little longer of an A skip and a little bit slower. Both are great. This is called ankling. We're pretending there's a bar right around your ankles and you're trying to step over it as quickly as possible. So each drill we're gonna do twice. Okay, even more aggressive. This is the B skip. It's a mixture of the A skip and then getting your leg out in front of you and doing a bear claw. What you're really trying to do is claw the ground and propel yourself forward. They have great form on this one. This is my favorite time to change shoes. After we've done the drills, 
put on flats or racing shoes and get ready for the workout with some strides. Remember to stick to your level, uh, whether it's level one, level two, or level three. The important thing with level one, two, and three is to get the correct warm up for your experience level. Make sure you stick to your level of experience with this and don't get caught up in trying to do too much warm up but at the same time, you wanna make sure that you are really well warmed up for workouts. So after you change shoes, we're gonna do three different levels of strides depending on where you're at. Um, I like to do the strides backwards on the track, and the reason is we run so much with the left turns, it's good to do some right turns on the track. So we always do strides backward. Now you may have to change that if there's too many people on the track, you don't wanna make it dangerous to run into someone, but it's a good habit to practice to do some backwards running on the track. And by backwards, I obviously mean you're running forward just the other direction around the track, so making right turns. So we've provided for you a bunch of sample workouts on the resource page. And you can check that out for different workouts for 5K, 10K, 800, 1500, half marathon, marathon, pretty much any distance we have it covered. And if we don't, you can always email us and we can help you out that way. A couple things you'll notice with the workout we're doing here is everyone's helping everyone. That's kind of the goal of a workout. I'm pacing for Oscar, Carmen's pacing for Shay. We have common goals, but we're actually all training for slightly different uh, race distances. And we've just set the workouts up to where we can help each other out accomplish our individual goals as a team. One more thing about workouts. It's really smart to have good workouts and great races. Not that we wanna go slow on our workouts or only give a half effort, but at the same time, we want to have consistent workouts over a long period of time without getting injured, and then we want to really go after it when we race. Now what we're doing is switching back to our training shoes after the workout. There's a couple different things you can do here. Number one, you can switch back to your training shoes. Number two, you can cool down barefoot. Number three, you can cool down with your flats or your spikes on. It doesn't really matter which one you do. You just want to do the one that's most comfortable to you. And if you can do some barefoot running without injuring your foot, and if you don't have too many foot uh, or ankle issues, it's a good idea to do a little bit of barefoot running. Now we're doing the cool down just nice and easy and we're all gonna follow our levels of cool down. I think uh, Carmen and Shay are going uh, 15 minutes at level two, and Oscar and I are doing the 20 at level three. We're just going super easy, and a lot of the times we'll all cool down together.